945 time for imagine it we have Carl Nelson here and if you've been on Facebook uh, maybe even logged on anywhere social media wise I'm sure you've seen the dress a lot of people upset about this whole thing saying hey it's not news what the heck I'm sick of seeing it on the flip side there is a science behind it right there is how cool is it the internet is melting down and people are talking about rods and cones in your eyes how your brain perceives colors and that how we see colors differently and you know what's funny <clears throat> I probably would not have even thought about all the scientific stuff Carl I know that's where you're immediately going so hopefully we can help people out here we've got an entire learning world at the Science Center about perception and how our mind perceives things sure. called mind zone Okay. So I brought something that I think is similar to that whole dress deal, oh right? Yeah. And it's how our perceptions can color, literally, how we perceive different colors. So on this Rubik's Cube, Tina, yeah. what, what color is that center square right here? Mm, like a yellowish gold. And this one is? Brown. Right. This is in the bright light. That's in the shadow. But if we isolate those tiles by covering everything else up, they're wow. all the same color. Yes, all brown. All okay. brown. Okay, and it's all because of our expectations of what colors we see in brights and in shadows. Okay. Okay, and you don't even have to use color. You can use shades of gray. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we have a um, checkerboard. Every other square is alternating dark and light. Sure. Right? We've got a shadow cast on it. Mm -hmm. But what if I told you that that square and this square, these two, are actually the same color? Well, now you have me thinking. I'm starting to see it, but I wouldn't believe you initially. You wouldn't believe it initially, but yeah. if you isolate everything else out, yeah. you can see they're okay. both exactly the same yeah. shade of gray. Okay. Now, you don't have to work with contrived images like this to see this sort of perception confusion. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you can see it right away. And I don't know if the camera can get a really tight shot of this. When you're picking up your morning cup of coffee, okay, okay mm -hmm. I always get confused about which coffee jacket to pick up. They come in three different sizes, right? I didn't even know that. The and more so, you know. You know, and the, the crazy thing is if you don't put them on the coffee cup quick enough, like you might have a small one, the darn thing will shrink right in front of your eyes. So the bottom is bigger. Okay. Now, wait, now the bottom is bigger. Sure. So what's going on, right? They're really all the same size. There's only one size of coffee jacket. Okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, that was misleading. But um, if you compare the bottoms, you can see they're both the same size. You compare the tops, you can see they're both the same size. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can find this stuff in everyday life. And hmm. in fact, I know you guys read a lot, right? Off the teleprompters. Sure, yeah. Quick question for you. Oh, I want you I to this one. I want okay. you to say the colors. Say the colors as fast as you can from top to bottom. Say the actual color of Say the color. Okay. Yep. yep. Yellow, blue, orange, black, red, green, purple, yellow. Do it again really fast. Fast as you can. Okay. Yellow, blue, orange, black, red, green, purple, yellow. Okay, excellent. Here's the real test. Okay. Same words, yes. oh. different colors. Say the color as fast as you Say can. Say the color? Okay. Say the color. Green, purple, yellow, blue, orange, black, red, blue. <laughs> you did really, you did really well. Most people will really stumble on that sure. because your brain's getting two messages. You're getting the word right. and the color. Yeah. And to say the color is like contrary to what you want to say. You really want to say the word. Yeah, that's one of those brain game things. It's I've called seen the Stroop, Stroop effect. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, we have an entire space down at the Science Center where you can see things like this. And actually, all these I put on our Facebook page and our website, so you can check them out in more detail up close and yeah. see if you can actually see the color differences. Very cool. All right, so sounds good. Take that, the dress. There's a lot more science behind the whole <laughs> thing, and we don't have to talk about the dress anymore. We more can talk dress. about the Imagination Station. If you want to head down to the Imagination Station, guess what? It is Saturday. That means that Lucas County residents 12 and under get in free with an adult. That's right. And this weekend we have the paper tower challenge yes, going on. Yes, that's another big thing that you guys love to do. So it that's is. a cool way to get the whole family involved. Lots of interactive stuff there. They're open today starting at 10 o'clock. Carl, thanks so much for coming sure. in. And I'll remember to <laughs> memorize my colors. Say the colors. That's, that's right. That's this week's Imagine It. Let's head it over to the guys. They have a recap of Basketball Friday.